Japanese automakers Honda and Nissan have announced plans to join forces. Honda and Nissan announced on Monday that they have formally agreed to hold talks on a possible merger. Today, the world is moving rapidly towards EVs, and this is believed to be the future. But on the other hand, Honda is doing something big behind the scenes, something even China and Elon Musk are not aware of. Honda has created an engine that will shake the entire car market. While everyone is running after electric cars, Honda is making a big change, creating a beast that can perhaps change the game forever. Their CEO says that this is a complete revolution that will shake the entire EV world. What if Honda creates an engine that does not need petrol, does not need to be charged, and is even better than electric cars? It sounds great, right? Be patient. This could be the amazing twist that will completely change the future of cars. As we move forward, subscribe to the channel so that you are the first to get information about technology. Before we dive into how Honda flipped the electric vehicle, EV world upside down, let's rewind a bit and meet the guy who started it all. Soichiro Honda, forget fancy suits or corner offices. Soichiro was a hands-on dreamer, always covered in grease and tinkering with machines. Born in 1906, his dad was a blacksmith, so he grew up surrounded by tools, fixing bikes, and playing with engines. Speed was his thing, and he had this wild belief that he could create something awesome. He didn't kick things off with flashy cars or motorcycles though. Nope. His first gig was making piston rings, those little engine parts you'd barely notice. In 1937, he started a small company called Tokai Siki to supply Toyota. It wasn't a glamorous life, and things got rough. World War II hit, his factory got bombed, and he had to rebuild from scratch. But here's the cool part. Soichiro didn't quit. After the war, Japan was a mess. Gas was hard to come by, and people just needed a cheap way to zip around. So in 1946, Soichiro got clever. He slapped old military generator engines onto bicycles, and boom, the first Honda motorcycle was born. It was scrappy, but it worked. Two years later, in 1948, he officially launched the Honda Motor Company. From that rickety motorized bike, Honda took off like a rocket. Soon their motorcycles weren't just rolling, they were dominating. Honda bikes started winning races and breaking records, proving to the world that Japan could build machines as tough and fast as anything from the West. Then came the cars. Honda didn't just slap wheels on a box, they built engines that roared. With life, simple to use, speedy, and dependable. Driving a Honda wasn't just about getting somewhere, it was about having a blast along the way. The Honda name became a legend. Today they churn out more engines than anyone else on the planet. If it's got an engine, bikes, cars, jets, even Formula One racers, chances are Honda's behind it. From a guy with oily hands to a global powerhouse, that's the Honda story. There is a strong brand name for cars called Honda. Every year, they sell over 4 million cars, enough to make them the 7th biggest car maker in the world. But it's not just about piling up numbers. Honda's got a knack for making cars that are super reliable and packed with clever ideas, all while keeping things smart and smooth. Take the Honda Accord, for example. It's like the rock star of cars. Everyone knows it's one of the best. In just the first half of 2017, Honda sold over 161,000 Accords. That's no fluke. People snap up Hondas because they're the kind of cars you can count on, whether it's your very first ride or the fifth one you've parked in your driveway. But Honda's not just about building cars that don't quit. They're always looking to the future, staying ahead of the game. Back in the 1970s, they came up with the CVCC engine, a total game changer that breezed through the US's strict emissions rules. Then there's the VTEC system, which makes little engines roar like the big ones. Honda's always been about Pushing the limits, they were also one of the first to roll out hybrid cars in the US, proving that eco-friendly could still be exciting. And now they're cooking up something fresh. It's not a hybrid, it's not even fully electric, it's something totally new. Honda believes engines aren't done yet, they just need a little evolution to keep the good times rolling. Honda's got a wild new idea and it's got a name, hydrogen. Yep, hydrogen. Now, Honda's already a champ at making awesome engines. So why mess with something like hydrogen? Why not just jump on the electric vehicle, EV bandwagon that's taking over the world? And how could one bold move from Honda's big boss flip the whole EV game on its head? Because it all comes down to one word, hydrogen. And it might just be the surprise twist nobody expected. Electric cars used to sound like something out of a science fiction movie, no gas, no roaring engine, just plug it in and roll.
Crazy, right? But now, they're everywhere. Teslas are zooming down highways with giant touchscreens, and you can charge up while grabbing a coffee. The electric future didn't just creep in, it hit like a lightning bolt. Governments jumped. In big time, they started tossing out tax breaks, cash bonuses, and all sorts of goodies to get people to ditch their gas guzzlers. Some countries even said, hey, in 10 or 15 years, petrol and diesel cars are done, banned. EVs got a huge high five from the worldwide push to tackle climate change. Suddenly, going electric wasn't just trendy, it was the new normal. Everyone was chasing EVs. They've leveled up, batteries last longer, charging's quicker, and once people stopped giggling at the idea of a quiet car, they started lining up to snag one. Now every car company, Ford, Hyundai, you name it, is rolling out electric. Rides like they're the latest must-have gadget, electric vehicles, or EVs, are often celebrated as a shiny, silent step toward a greener future. But there's a flip side that doesn't get enough airtime. Let's break it down. First, batteries don't last forever. They're big, bulky things packed with rare materials like cobalt and lithium, which aren't exactly easy to dig up, mining. Them can mess up the planet, think scarred landscapes and polluted water. And when those batteries finally give out, getting rid of them is a headache we haven't fully figured out. Then there's charging. It's not like filling up a gas tank in five minutes. It can take hours, especially if you're stuck somewhere. But without a fast charger, and even when you're charged up, there's that nagging worry. Will I make it home? That stress doesn't fade, especially on long drives where charging stations are few and far between. Money is another catch. Electric vehicles aren't cheap to buy, even with some help from the government. And while plugging in might feel affordable, Today, imagine everyone doing it at once. Electricity bills could climb fast. So yeah, EVs look like a dream fix on the surface, but dig a little deeper and you'll spot the cracks. It's not just about swapping gas for electric, it's about finding a solution that's truly clean and works for everyone without kicking the can down the road. While everyone else is piling onto the electric vehicle bandwagon, Honda's hitting the brakes on that idea and taking a detour. They're dodging the long charging weights, the battery trash pile up, and the hunt for rare metals from far off places. So what's their plan? It's not electric. It's not your usual gas guzzler either. It's a clever middle ground powered by hydrogen, the lightest stuff in the universe. When you use it, all you get is water. No smog, no mess, just H2O Hondas. Betting big that hydrogen could be the real game changer for clean cars. And here's the cool part, they're not new to this. They've been tinkering with hydrogen for a while now, and they're ready to roll. Back in 2015, Honda rolled out a car that felt like it zoomed straight out of a sci-fi movie. It wasn't your typical gas guzzler, and it didn't plug in like an electric car either. Meet the Honda Clarity Fuel Cell, a hydrogen-powered ride that debuted with a splash at the Tokyo Motor Show. It was Japan's first hydrogen car you could actually buy, and it didn't just look futuristic, it drove like it too. Honda didn't just slap a new engine into an old model. They built the Clarity from scratch to run on hydrogen. Inside, it had this cool wave flow tech that zipped hydrogen around faster, squeezing out more power without wasting a drop. The fuel cells were tiny but mighty, packed in just the right spot delivering more oomph than anything Honda had ever cooked up before. The payoff? A super clean car that could go the distance, up to 360 miles on a full tank. Back then, that beat most electric cars. It sipped fuel at an incredible 88 miles per gallon, and all it left behind was a puff of water vapor. Silent, smooth, and spacious, the clarity seemed like it had cracked the code for clean driving. But here's where the wheels fell off. Despite all its fancy tricks, the Clarity didn't take off like Honda hoped. The car itself was solid, but the world around it wasn't ready. Hydrogen stations were rare, unless you lived in California. Or a handful of spots in Japan, good luck finding a place to fill up. Road trips? Stressful. People don't buy cars that leave them stranded, wondering where the next tank is. Then there was the vibe. Hydrogen sounded complicated, maybe even a little scary. Electric cars though. Simple. Plug in, charge up, hit. The road. EVs were the hot topic, with celebrities cruising in them, governments tossing out incentives, and charging stations popping up everywhere. Hydrogen cars like the Clarity? They didn't get the same love. No big tax breaks, no buzz, no easy test drives. Even though it was an engineering marvel, the Clarity couldn't win the popularity contest. Honda pulled the plug on it along with its electric and plug-in versions in 2021.
But don't count Hydrogen out just yet. The story's not over. Honda didn't just walk away from the clarity with a shrug. They picked up some serious wisdom. The big takeaway? Hydrogen fuel cell. Cars work. The tech wasn't the problem. The world just wasn't ready to roll with it. So Honda played it smart. They stepped back, kept an eye on the EV craze, and let it do its thing. Meanwhile, they quietly kept tinkering with hydrogen. No way were they throwing in the towel. Now they're back, and they've brought a buddy, General Motors, together. They've cooked up something fresh to tackle the Clarity's old headaches. Longer range, slicker tech, and a ride people already know and love. Say hello to the CRV Hydrogen SUV. This isn't just a tweak. It's a full-on comeback that could rattle the EV world. What's packed inside this next-gen CRV isn't just shiny new gear. It's a bold challenge to the electric vehicle hype. Buckle up because things are about to get interesting. Honda's making a big splash with a bold and clever move, introducing the CRV Hydrogen SUV. After learning tons from their earlier Clarity model, they're diving back into hydrogen power. With a vehicle that's bigger, better, and feels like the Honda SUVs we all know and love. This time, they've teamed up with General Motors to create a car that solves past hiccups and gives electric vehicles a serious run for their money. At first glance, the CRV Hydrogen SUV looks like your typical family-friendly Honda, but don't be fooled. Underneath, it's a whole new beast. Instead of a gas engine or a plug-in battery, this SUV runs purely on hydrogen. How cool is that? In the back, you'll find two super smart high-pressure hydrogen tanks. Compact, efficient, and safe. Tucked under the seats is a clever power unit that keeps everything running smoothly, balancing speed and safety like a pro. Here's the game changer. This CRV doesn't need to be plugged into a wall to charge. Its fuel cell system works like magic, turning hydrogen into electricity on the go. Hydrogen and oxygen team up in a clean, controlled process to create instant energy. The only thing it leaves behind Pure water vapor, clean enough to practically sip. What does this mean for you? Freedom and convenience. Refueling takes just three to five minutes, as quick as filling up a gas tank. Once the tank's full, the CRV hydrogen SUV can go as far as some of the best electric cars out there, so you won't be stuck worrying about running out of juice mid-adventure. It's a huge win for everyday drivers who want an easy, no compromise ride that's kind to the planet. Honda's CRV Hydrogen SUV, more than just a car. Honda's CRV Hydrogen SUV isn't just about getting you from point A to point B, it's packed with surprises that make it a total game changer. One of the coolest tricks. It can share its power. Think of it like having a backup generator on wheels. If a storm knocks out your electricity, the CRV can keep your home humming and your gadgets charged. It's not just a car, it's a lifeline when things go sideways. But don't worry, Honda didn't sacrifice comfort for all this futuristic tech. The CRV still has that classic Honda vibe everyone loves. Sleek, spacious, and perfect for families. The hydrogen system is cleverly tucked away, so you get all the eco-friendly power without losing room for your groceries or soccer gear. It feels natural, not forced, like the high-tech stuff was always meant to be there. Honda's playing it smart with the rollout, too. They're starting in places like California and Japan, where hydrogen stations are already up and running. That way drivers can hit the road without stressing about where to refuel as more stations pop up the crv will expand to new spots honda's not rushing they're building something that'll grow strong over time this quiet clever plan might just shake things up no loud hype just solid strategy and the right partners that's what makes this suv such a sneaky threat to the electric vehicle world while others are racing to build faster chargers and bigger batteries honda's already delivering instant refueling long drives and zero pollution all wrapped in a familiar trusty package and here's a big thought if the crv hydrogen is this awesome now what happens when honda brings this tech to their entire lineup for years hydrogen cars like honda's clarity had one big problem there just weren't enough places to refuel the tech was awesome, clean, efficient, and ready to roll. But without fuel stations, drivers were stuck. That hiccup nearly put the brakes on the whole hydrogen dream. But guess what? Things are changing fast. Hydrogen stations are popping up across the US with California leading the charge. Other states are watching closely, ready to follow. Japan's all in on hydrogen, making it a key part of their energy plan. Germany's building stations to power big trucks. And China, the world's biggest car market, is pouring billions into hydrogen to fuel buses, taxis, and more. This isn't just talk, it's happening. Governments aren't just testing hydrogen anymore, they're betting big on it. Why? 
It's not only super clean for cars, but it's also perfect for trucks, buses, and transit systems that need to haul heavy loads over long distances. Will hydrogen replace EVs? Nah, it doesn't need to. Even grabbing a slice of the market can change how we think about clean driving and push car makers to step up their game. Honda's jumping into hydrogen power, and it's a game changer. This isn't just about cool cars. It's part of a massive shift happening worldwide. Countries and companies are racing to find the cleanest, smartest ways to power our future. Electric. Cars? They're just one piece of the puzzle. The clean energy world is buzzing with competition and big ideas. Love this insight? Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives like this. Oh, and... Don't miss the next video, click it now. Trust me, it's worth it.